With all of this possible chaos and confusion, so why are things run as smoothly as they do? And sometimes it seems as complicated as finding a needle in a haystack, or in this case, a container in a yard. And while trains are one of the oldest, most reliable means of transportation, dating back to the early 1800s, it still, to the surprise of many, uses some of the most advanced technology on the market today. Norfolk Southern acquired two large port-style cranes known as rubber tire gantry cranes for their lander's yard in Chicago. These massive pieces of machinery streamline the stacking process, improve mobility and efficiency within the yard, and decrease truck dwell time. Now the concept of cranes is nothing new. They've been around since the ancient Greeks. But this isn't just any type of crane. This is a new crane, a smart crane. A crane equipped with a position detection system and optical character recognition. It's a crane that can sense and see. The crane's optical character recognition uses four cameras attached to the crane to scan containers for their identification. This allows the operator to easily identify any container and input container information into the database without having to manually enter it. And they're much faster, so they can get a container from here to there quicker. And that's what one of the things they were looking for is, how can we deliver a container to a truck in six minutes, whereas before it took 30. Well, these do that. The rubber tire gantry cranes and reach stackers are now outfitted with a position detection system. This is a system of antennas both moving and static, that track the position of equipment in real time around the yard. The brains of this whole operation is fueled by Ragent technology, an intricate yet robust web of frequencies known as a kinetic mesh network. In some ways, the idea is similar to wireless network extenders used in homes to boost signal strength. This complex web is made up of nodes that send and retrieve signals, just as the trains themselves have a vast network of interconnecting tracks, so does the mesh network. This mesh network is constantly shifting to create the best route for the signal. Everything talks to everything, so that you're constantly figuring out where the best uh, and, and strongest data signal is coming from, and points of failure. So if something goes away for some reason, power goes away, receiver gets broken, antenna gets broken, you immediately can go to a different segment. So you always have a one or two jump way of getting to the hardwired point where the fiber is or where the, where the hardwired connection is to talk to the data network. If a certain path becomes unavailable for any reason, due to a vehicle moving out of coverage or an object that moves in and obstructs coverage, nodes of the network use an alternate route to deliver data. All of the web components transmit and receive real-time information, enabling an end-to-end -end view of intermodal operations and allowing timely analysis and decision-making. This technology changes, for the better, how truck drivers work their way through the yard. There was a lot of chaos. Drivers looking for things, driving in front of each other, uh, trying to be first to get their box. Um, you know, and the poor crane operators just didn't know which way to turn. There was no rhyme or reason as to uh, who was first. So now, what the drivers will be doing is coming in through the gates, then they go into a, a, um, a driver dispatch area, or truck dispatch area, TDA, well, they're kind of queue up to go into the stacks to go retrieve their container. And as they're queuing up, the system is already trying to figure out where their container is, locating that. And when they're ready for the driver, he or she drives up right next to the stack. Their container is then lifted and loaded right onto their chassis and they're, and they're out the gate and they're on their merry way, which is what you want them to do. Improve drivers dwell and improve the safety of operation because the driver doesn't have to get out of his cab. He doesn't have to get on the ground. He doesn't have to find the box in a general area. From the operator to the crane, to the mesh system, to the container, from the simple moving gears of the crane to the invisible frequencies of the mesh network, all of these parts work in tandem to increase visibility and improve speed. So we always know where the needle is, no matter how great the haystack.